Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the tractor is taken apart a little. Not really. It's just got the stuff off. And well, yesterday, Dad and I fixed this oil leak. More of Dad. Not really anything I did. And also, we began work. So you can know, tell... I'm pretty sure Dad might have moved this thing a little bit because he was been cleaning the barn the last couple days. You can see the pickup back there. Big tractor. So actually, take a look at this. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Tripped over a thing. 1951. 2013. Basically the same company. Case IH. International Harvester. So well... I think we've got one more oil leak to fix. It's down here. But we began painting. This is the first thing we did. It looks... Eh. It actually feels really smooth. You can't see it the best. That's what it looks like. Next thing I want to get painted is, well, I don't know. I just want to start taking things off. I really want to get this tree thing done. I want to take it all... I want to get it down to where... <clears throat> The wheels are sitting up on blocks. The wheels are off. Do the wheels separately. Get the frame and stuff off. Get all that off paint. All that stuff separate. And you're down to like your engine, your transmission. That's like your, that's your flywheel housing. Your clutch area and your gearbox. The main drivetrain. I want to get it down to that up on blocks. Paint that as a whole, and then everything else, hang it up and paint it separately. And, well, I'll talk to you as we're walking here. I want to get it all painted separately. And here, I'll show you our setup for painting. Now, since it is winter, really crappy weather, we have not purchased a paint gun yet. We did just use paper towel, Case IH spray paint, and... Um, this here primer. And then to get it down, instead of sanding anything, we used this wired wheel right here. Not the grinder. Do not use the grinder. You use the wired wheel. I don't have a spare piece of metal here to show you what it would do. I mean, if I did, I definitely would show you. But I don't. As you can see, well, today it's 60 degrees nearly. But yesterday it was like down here. Around that area. It's all over the place. The temperature in Indiana during winter could go anywhere. See, and it's really hard to see, so we used the flashlight to use that. Oh, and also, like I said, since it's cold out here, you want your parts to be warm. Had the heater running. And set the stuff down about right there. And it was heating up the spray paint. And the part. Could show you on that. Like cleans up rust. Just like. You see. Cleans up rust a bit. And it spins fast enough. It really doesn't leave deep marks. So, I just saw something and I wanted to talk about it. Oh, I think this is an old tachometer cable for the Farmall 300. That's what I saw. Well, anyway, this tractor will be taking a while. And also, if you're watching... Probably not. Probably not many people are watching this, but Dad did drive the tractor today. He had to move it to move this stuff. I bet he hooked it up with that. Um, that's completely rusted, and if you do say it's been patched, yes, it has been patched, and it's re-rusted. So, if you're watching this video and you've got a wheel that'll fit... Crap, he drove the tractor, so now the size is on his... Wrong. To fit 
I'm sorry, this probably looks really poor on video. I'm trying to find it. Dad drove the tractor and it's moved. That will fit a 13.6-38 tire. If you've got a wheel or a rim for an M that would fit that, tell me. Leave a comment, give a price. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, probably didn't. Thanks for watching and goodbye.